Here are major changes for GIMP 2.10.32. GIMP now supports 8 and 16-bit CMYK TIFF files on import. Big TIFF format is now supported both for import and export. What Big TIFF is about is that it is an evolution of the original TIFF format, allowing files bigger than 4 GB by using 64 bit internal offsets. You can unable this format when you export TIFF, and in the modal, check the part where it says export BIF. The JPEG XL format is now supported in this stable version. Game designers and developers, this may be a good advantage as new development on DDS goes with the new version of GIMP. Some game engines require DDS images to be flipped vertically. Before the workflow was not practical until this new improvement. There is now a visible layers option allowing you to export the whole image with the layers intact, and not a single layer. Users won't have to flatten the image anymore, before exporting the file. SD format metadata had been improved. GIMP now allows more data to be salvaged from corrupted files.
A good improvement that can help when your XCF got accidentally corrupted by improper shutdown of GIMP or moving the files through locations. Loading transparent EPS files is now supported. Icons improvement. Screenshot feature is now available in the new Windows version of GIMP. There are new download mirrors available. Not so much improvement on any tools just yet. Which we can look forward into more GIMP versions in the future. With no further ado, let's just enjoy this. Quick art time lapse using GIMP 2.10.32.